So, if you're a Mac user, then you probably know that when you're hitting spacebar on your Mac, it actually gives you a quick view. I'm hoping this is not new news for you when you're a Mac editor, but if you're a Windows editor, believe me, you can do exactly the same thing. Let me show you. So here we are on Windows and check this out. I can hit the spacebar, boom. I can see the folder. If I'm opening this up, check this out. This is 10-bit file, which no real player will play back. I'm hitting play and watch this. We're playing back 10-bit footage. We're hitting play on this one over here. Audio file, it comes up over here. Anything I'm hitting, we are getting this on here. So how do you do this on Windows? It's very simple. This is what you have to do. I just uninstalled the hack. So now when I'm hitting the spacebar, nothing's happening. Absolutely nothing's happening. So what you have to do is go to Microsoft Store. This will be on every single one of your Windows, Windows 10, Windows 11, doesn't matter which one. Now, you might have to log in over here, but sometimes it works without uh, logging in as well. I have logged in over here. So if you haven't got a Microsoft account, you can just make one and then just log in because I found out that when I haven't got one, it doesn't show me any results or you might not see it. But what you want to look for is something called quick look and press enter. So what you're looking for is an app looking like this. It says quick look over here and it's by Paddy Sue or who is you. Basically, all you have to do is press install. It's gonna do it. It's completely free. It doesn't cost you anything. And look at that. Once it's done installing, click open. It opens on the bottom corner over here and you should be able to see this little quick look over here. Once it's open, that's it. All you have to do is click on your A7S 3 footage that previously didn't play back. Now you hit spacebar and voila, it starts playing back. It works with raw photos as well. For example, if you got any Sony photos, then you can actually play this back as well. Look at this, I've got a thumbnail over here and there's some Sony raw photos. I can hit spacebar, voila. It just opens them just like that. Absolutely amazing. When I first heard about this on Windows, I thought this is uh, some kind of a hack or you have to pay for this, but it helps me so much. So I hope this helps you as well, as much as it helped me. Thanks guys for watching. Likes if you enjoyed it. Subs if you'd like to see more and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.